Hey, what's going on guys? What's happening YouTube? This is Johnny with Rules for Rebels and this is the first video in kind of a new series I'm going to start doing called Q&A with Jay. We're going to be answering questions uh, from both emails as well as YouTube comments um, and I'm not really going to restrict this to, to one category like e-commerce or Amazon FBA or cryptocurrency. I'm going to do uh, pretty much all different topics here, but my, my goal of doing this is that we can make kind of shorter videos for you guys to watch. I know I have a tendency to ramble on. And then also oftentimes, like if I do a 30-minute video on Amazon FBA, um, you know, I know not everybody's going to watch every minute of the video, so people miss out on things. And then also sometimes people are going to be searching for specific questions and specific topics. And, you know, I may cover 100 different areas in an FBA video, um, but the video is not going to be titled what that question is. So here, kicking off the first one from Derek TV. Hey, can you use a customer's money to buy from supplier from PayPal? I'm a new seller. So essentially what he's asking is, you know, if I'm doing drop shipping, um, can the customer pay me? And then I use the money that the customer gave me to turn around and order the product to sell to them. And this is actually a great question. I know a lot of, uh, especially new sellers, because new sellers are most affected by this. But I know a lot of new sellers and people new to drop shipping uh, run into a problem here. So, um, you know, again, by doing this, I, I can kind of title the video accurately to, to what we're discussing here. So uh, basically what Derek's asking is, okay, he wants to sell an item on, you know, I don't know, whether it be eBay, Amazon, a Shopify store. And, you know, we'll say that he's going to sell a uh, parachute hammock, right? And he's going to sell it for $40 he found a place where he can buy it from t for $20. So what he wants to do is have the customer pay him $40 via PayPal. Then he wants to use that same $40 that the customer paid him to go to you know eBay, Amazon, whatever, and, uh, and buy the item. He's only going to pay $20 for it. He's going to pocket the extra $20 and ship it to the customer. So in general, when starting any business, I, I think it's a, a good idea to have a little bit of uh, you know emergency cash on hand. You never really know what's going to happen. And what I mean by that is if Derek doesn't have a penny to his name, I think it would be a poor idea to plan on drop shipping something using a customer's money. And, and here's why. As a new eBay slash PayPal seller, um, PayPal has, has a policy where they're going to hold your money for uh, 21 days. There are two ways in which you can get the money earlier. So scenario number one is you ship the item to the customer, the customer receives it, and leaves you positive feedback. As soon as he leaves you positive feedback, uh, PayPal is going to release that forty dollars to you, right? So that's one way. Well, we we all know that you know uh, a very small percentage of eBay sellers, and this is assuming that he's even selling it on eBay, but a very small percentage of eBay no sellers are actually going to leave you feedback and or leave you feedback in a timely manner. Um, so you know, without that feedback, the item's tied up. Also, in the scenario that that Derek's throwing out here, um, he needs that money to buy the item, so he can't get the positive feedback because he doesn't have the money to buy the item. The other scenario, pretty much similar thing, uh, because PayPal knows that a lot of eBayers don't leave feedback. If your item show, if the tracking shows delivery to the customer and three days has passed, you'll let, PayPal won't automatically do this for you. You'll have to call them, but you can call PayPal and say, "Hey, look, um, I sent you know blah 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 item to Jim Jones. Uh, tracking shows delivered three days ago. They'll look at it. They'll verify it, and then they'll release that money to you." Now, in both these scenarios, whether it be positive feedback. Whether it be positive feedback or a confirmed tracking number, um, you're not going to be able to get the item delivered to the customer unless you have the money to first pay for that shipment. So, um, you know, this is especially good to know if you're selling high dollar items. I mean, I think most people could probably sc scrape together $10, 15 $20 to get something shipped out if they have to. However, if you're selling high ticket items, if you're, if you're selling something for $500 and you need $300 to buy it, well, that's a little bit more money to scrape together. But in general, I would plan on using your own money. Um, using your own money to buy the item for the customer. That way, you know, if you're using Shopify payments, it may be 24 to 48 hours before they batch out that money and give it to you. If you're using PayPal, you're potentially going to run into this 21-day uh, this hold policy. Uh, so I think it's a good idea to whatever you sell, you have your own money to make that purchase. Now, you will be getting the money back, right? You will be getting the money back from the customer or whatever. Um, but I, I would suggest having your own money to, to buy it with, just so if there's any holdups, uh, on you getting the funds, you're not late in delivering it. So, I mean, in a 21-day scenario, obviously a customer is not going to sit around 21 days and wait for you to get the money so that they can ship it out. In the case of like Shopify payments, okay, you know, if you need to wait a day or two days to uh, to get that money from the customer to order the item, not the end of the world. If you are drop shipping from someplace like AliExpress, however, 
you know, it's already a pretty long shipping time. You don't want to add anything onto that policy. But again, in general, I'd recommend having the money to order whatever a customer might buy from you. If that means that you have to focus on smaller dollar products to get started, I think you need to do that. And if you just don't have the money at this point, I would suggest maybe start offering some Fiverr gigs, start doing some affiliate marketing, get some little side hustle going so that you can make a little bit of money to start your drop shipping business. Now, keep in mind, orders aren't going to be flooding in right off the bat. So, I mean, it's not like you're going to need hundreds or even thousands of dollars to get started. Assuming you're selling like a, I don't know, we'll say a $20 product, I think having, you know, 80 or or $100 in the bank is probably sufficient um, to get yourself started. So, yeah, that's kind of uh, just something to be aware of if you're uh, doing drop shipping and you're a new eBay or PayPal seller. And keep in mind, with any type of merchant account, uh, you're going to need to look into how long they take to pay you. This will often be referred to as a batch out time. So with Shopify, I think any orders that come through before 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you'll be paid on, on the next day. If a customer orders something at, say, 7 at night, for example, um, it probably won't be batched out until the following day at 5 o'clock, which means you'll get it the day after that. So, uh, Derek, hope that answers your question. Anybody else who's uh, who's been wondering about this or is getting into drop shipping, hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll catch you on the next one.